what plasticity who are their target audience and is it worth your money and time i'll be answering all that and more in this video I've not had time to stress test plasticity like I do with other softwares before sharing my thoughts but expect that stress test in a bit. I wouldn't waste time explaining the difference between surface, uh, solid and a polygonal software because I've done that in most of my CAD videos, especially this one. Now I must say I'm really impressed with the brain behind the development of plasticity because what I'm seeing is a solid modular and a surface modeler combined too with a copycat blender style user interface slapped onto it it's awesome this is far from the usual quantum like mechanic clunky style card softwares we are used to it's simple but does plasticity have the potential to stand toe to toe with the top industrial level clunky softwares okay a quick breakdown here first of all the software is based on a parasolid geometry kernel. What that means is you get a software library that implements complex mathematical functions to perform operations such as booleans, fillets, and more. All CAD programs utilize a type of geometry kernel, and parasolid is considered one of the best in the industry. It is used by leading CAD software such as SolidWorks, Siemens NX, Sharper 3D for various applications ranging from small-scale manufactured parts to large-scale aerospace components. So, according to Plasticity, you are being offered a solid plus a surface modeling tool based on a parasolid kernel with the NEBS framework style of modeling. Now, looking at its price tag with all these features, I think it's cheap. And that is only if it can get the job done now everything i made mention of before were my personal assessment but this info i came across on their blog site goes straight to the point and it's written by their two developer nick and i quote plasticity is a neb modeling app for concept arts not industrial design so i guess at the moment it's targeting concept artists and not heavy industry users. A lot of rhinoceros users are asking if they could make the switch to plasticity. Just my two cents. The answer is a big no. Although plasticity would be a great alternative, you might want to hold on for a while. Yeah, if you are a professional with a lot of work in line, this is not the right time to make that switch the software is in its early development stages too many bugs if you are a newbie sure plasticity will be a good starting point since you have nothing to lose now this is based on a NEBS framework so what i'm thinking of is getting back to rhino since rhino is also a NEBS modeling tool and placing them side by side like i do in most of my versus videos to see how plasticity holds up then we can tell if a switch will be worth it but for now let's leave it for the concept artist this software reminds me of 3d code big potential industry level features yet less to know tutorials for the newbies seeing the potential of 3d code reading about their target audience and seeing where they keep promoting it just makes me confused all the time i hope Plasticity learns a thing or two from 3D Code's mistakes and never repeat that. I would recommend Plasticity to these groups of people, complete newbies, amateurs who are stuck on which software to use in the card world, basic concept designers, low to mid tier gaming studios, game artists and product designers can start their surface and solid modeling from here. Aside these groups of people, you wouldn't be missing anything if you are already running SOLIDWORKS, Fusion 360, Rhinoceros, um, Kajia, Siemens, NX. Um, these are bigger softwares with tons of features which have been used over the years and stress tested for years. You can't have it wrong with this, but this is new. So you wouldn't be missing too much. Oh, and for the Blender HardOps users, Plasticity might be the advanced version of HardOps yeah
the software just falls within the right sweet spot if you aren't going to be working on heavy loads also its price range is cool for non-frequent user artists freelancers and professionals who need a great mid-range complementing card software honestly this is a lightweight software so let's not be in a rush dumping our softwares and jumping onto this one let's give it some more time interesting fact the search for the cracked version of plasticity is very high i know people would opt in for the cracked version just to see what it could offer because the 60 days trial period might not be enough for some freelancers especially those who are already running bigger softwares they would have to stress it a bit to see if it's reliable so yeah you can't prevent people from doing crack that's the honest truth people thought it should be free the thing is it would be a loss for plasticity if they go free like blender there are certain advantages and features you get um, having your software on a certain license in the 3d world and these advantages can surely cause a software to be a paid for because they are expensive on the other hand you don't get much advantages if you choose to go on a free license and one of those advantages is the company having the ability to feature into its software certain export options and also certain industrial pipeline proprietary codes. Blender being free is a typical example where you don't get to enjoy certain industry privileges simply because they chose to go free and open source. Plasticity exports in OBJ, STEP or IGES formats for use in DCC or CAD software and in the native format of Rhino and Parasolid. That's easy. Now huge features with a promising future but mid to low end users is exactly how to begin so you can identify bugs real quick and make the necessary adjustments. I think every choice they've made so far is really good. I wish them all the best and I hope they do better than 3D code. See you in my next video.